All right guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be putting together a new sight combination for my bow, my V3X33. And uh, the reason why I'm putting this together is I picked this UV housing up on a Black Friday sale. So it was pretty cheap and it's that cool OD green color. So I think that's gonna look really cool. And uh, I actually had a problem with my HHA sight. Never had a problem with one before. If you guys have watched some of my previous videos, like my tack video, I literally threw this bow off the side of the mountain and bounced this thing all around, threw it over my pack, carrying it around all the time, in and out of the truck, banging it off everything, and I'm just not, not easy on equipment. I actually had one of these screws that kind of hold this whole sliding rail system together back out just a little bit. And I started to get a little bit of slop in the rail itself. And uh, so what I did around here, this is like the last two weeks of hunting season. For me, whitetail hunting, especially here at my property, I don't have a shot past like 35 yards. So all I did was set it to 20 and lock the sight down so it wouldn't move. And that's how I hunted the last two weeks of the season. Not a big deal. I contacted HHA and I said, hey, I had a problem with this site and uh, kind of told them what was going on and it kind of wasn't that big of a deal. Like I probably could have fixed it myself, um, but I just, you know, I have a relationship with the company. I just kind of want to let them know like, hey, this is the problem I ran into. If you guys are seeing any of these problems, just want to let you know. And uh, they hadn't, so they actually want this site back. I don't think it was anything they did. I think it was probably more me throwing it or beating the hell out of it than it was necessarily a problem with the site. So uh, they sent me another one, a replacement, so I can send this back to them. And I figured while I was doing it, the cool thing that all the cool kids are doing this year is putting these UV housings on these HHA Tetra sites. So I'm gonna build one of those for you guys, show you how easy it is if this is a site combination that you guys are interested in. Let's open this box. Cool stuff you get with HHA, you get a sticker pack, sight tapes, you have your setup tapes, and then you have your sight tapes that go out to 100. If you get the new Rise from HHA, uh, they actually have long range tapes that go, I think, out to 180. A wheel that's already on, or a setup wheel that's already on here that has all your marks, an extra wheel to put your sight tape on, a little parts kit, I think that's it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, change this magnifier out. I prefer to run the little pin that they supply. All right, we're all set with the pin. So we could put our setup wheel back on. What I'm going to do is actually just put my own sight wheel back on. Personally, I like to run the wheel all the way up and set it as close to 20 as possible so that way I can get maximum dialage out of my rail. All right, so to get the UV scope housing, you're gonna need one of these accessory mounts. It actually goes into the HHA, or into the UltraView housing, which I have not personally assembled one of these before, so we're gonna do this together. Bang, look at that. I think it looks good, doesn't it? That green, shoo. This one has a uh, up pin right now, just a single vertical up pin. I am not a huge fan of a single up pin. Loosen up these two set screws, remove the cartridge, and that gives you access to your mounting bracket. The HHA one, it is simply just a screw with an Allen but what I'm actually gonna do is put this, put your button head through here, and then uh, I can, you can simply just start it a little bit just by twisting it. Once you get close, lock it in, come in through the other side into your button head, and you're simply just gonna snug it up, and you're assembled. Reinsert your hunting cartridge. For this one, it is the single up pin, tighten it back down. Because you're tightening this onto a 3D or a plastic printed piece, I would recommend not hammering down on it, just nice and easy, just a little bit. It doesn't need a lot. Cartridge is in, works, lights up. This into the rail. Run this down, we'll call it there for now.
And these two you can tighten down because these two bolts are just to tighten the rail mount. It has nothing to do with your second axis. So that is a completely independent adjustment from it. These two are gonna be your second axis adjustments. You're gonna loosen this one on the top and then crack this one loose on the bottom and this will give you access to your second axis adjustment, which is what moves the site like this to keep your bubble level. So I'm gonna go off of this one really roughly and see how far, that actually looks pretty good for the windage distance. So we're gonna call that good. Let's put this back on the bow. This is a complete HHA Tetra with a UV scope housing on the front of it. Um, I screwed up and bought a regular instead of an XL. So that's fun. All right, now that we got our site assembly put together, time to put it back into this bridge lock. Pretty simple. This will be really good for tack. I think I might actually leave this on when I shoot tack. Let's go outside. It's pretty windy right now, and let's try to get a rough 20. And once I get 20, this sight tape should be good all the way out to 100. Let's head out there. It's uh, pretty windy out here, so we're gonna do the best we can. But I shot my first two or three arrows, realized I never set my second axis, so I ran down to the garage real quick. Set that, wasn't that far off. Little left, crank this thing to the left. That looks to be pretty good. Definitely going to be the farthest I've shot in a while. It's like 50 yards. It's gonna be nice when this barn's built and I actually have walls and I can just sit in here and shoot out this garage door and not have to fight the wind. Hell, I can shoot inside. It's not quite 20 yards, but I get a little bag in here and shoot when it's raining. Maybe my 20 wasn't quite right, but the yard, the side tape's pretty close. I mean, the arrow hasn't changed. It's still the X impact with a three fletch heavy helical to the left that I shot during hunting season. These are the Snyder core glue in tips. Um, this one's actually been into a concrete wall. The arrows are pretty damn tough. It's probably what I'll shoot again this year, but probably gonna do a video on reviewing a bunch of different four millimeter arrows. So if you have a four millimeter that you want me to review, drop it down in the comment below. I'm gonna get some gold tip pierces, the Victory Vaps, the Easton long range access, these X impacts. I have some serious uh, Orions, which are four millimeter. But if there's a brand you want me to try, I'm gonna try them out. Maybe I'll do like a aero demolition video where I shoot it into stuff and blow them up and throw money down the drain. But if you guys wanna see me blow up thousand dollars with the arrows, let me know. See how far we can get. I think we can get to 80. All right, so the edge of the barn all the way through out to that target right now is 80. I should have plenty of aerial clearance because this is a tiny housing because I screwed up and bought the wrong one. So when I do go buy that three pin, when I get ready to go order one of those here in the summer, um, I'll make sure I get a new housing. Fortunately, I should have paid more attention when I was buying this because I got it on a pretty good deal. All right, 80 yards in the wind. Just a little low left. The wind is blowing pretty hard, um, kind of 45 across my face. I think shooting that target stuff this year really did help me. Pull through the shot, it'll get where it needs to go. I mean, that's still a pretty good group for 80 yards. And I ain't been out here in a while. This UV regular sized scope housing. I mean, I like it for my target bow. Maybe this will go on my target bow next year. 
add a little pizzazz, a little color to it. No nail over here. Where is it? Do I have a nail out there? I don't trust that one. All right, let's go check this group out. Not a bad group for 80 yards. A little low left in the target. Some of that could have been me. Um, the wind is definitely blowing across the face of the target. So maybe it's pushing it down a little bit. Also the side tape, I think the yardages are right. Um, I just don't have it in the right spot. So I'm trying to cut yardages where technically I was shooting 85, but it's 80 because my sight wheel's off and I'm too lazy to go in my garage and get my Allen keys to fix it. At the end of the day, I think this HHA Tetra and this UltraView housing is a pretty slick combo. Um, like I said, when I was putting this together, I did not mean to buy the small housing uh, for this UltraView scope. I meant to buy the XL and I must just have fat fingered it when I was checking it or didn't check my order before I checked it or before I checked out and uh, I bought the wrong one. So uh, probably gonna buy an XL one and tinker with that until hunting season starts. I do not like to run a vertical pin. I like to run horizontal pins that are fixed. I like to have that option to be able to go from 20 to 50 and not have to move my sight housing because Let's be honest, if you're inside of that 30, 40, 50 yard range, anyways, you're in the hot zone. You don't need to be sitting here tinkering with your site, trying to get it all set up. And you just gotta be able, to, you wanna shoot. You don't wanna have to have to tinker with that and you don't wanna bust an animal for that. I don't know if that makes a difference to you, but for me it does. That's why I wanna shoot a fixed pin housing and then have that option to dial, to have fun, to go out here, shoot 80 yards, to go to tack, to do all that kind of cool stuff. And if I need a follow-up shot that's much further, I know I can dial to that. But hunting situations, that's why I build my bows. That's how I have all this stuff set up. That's what I go to tack with. I go there with the setup that I'm going to be hunting with because I wanna get really comfortable with this. So uh, probably tinker with this for a little bit, play with it. Uh, like I said, I haven't shot an up pin in a while and it kinda was nice. It's a little different of a sight picture for me, but I'll get over it. Yeah, this HHA Tetra and UltraView housing. It's a pretty slick setup. It's what all the cool kids are doing now, apparently. So go ahead and get you one, I guess. But until next time, guys, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. Catch you in the next video.